Nestle and Nestle Health Science are committed to pioneer human milk oligosaccharides, or HMO, in infant and speciality formulas. HMO are surprisingly very abundant in human milk, but devoid of any nutritive function, leading us to wonder what they actually do. Scientists cracked this mystery not so long ago, revealing that HMO play a unique role in supporting the immature immune system of infants, thus protecting them at a time of great vulnerability when their defense system is not yet fully functioning. HMO also help to educate the developing immune system in order to make it fully functional. This immune nurturing role of HMO is even more important for infants with cow's milk protein allergy, an immune-mediated disease impacting the immune system maturation. So, how do HMO do that? HMO help the immune defenses in four major ways. First, they help establish a protective gut microbiota. Second, they block pathogens from doing harm. Third, they strengthen the gut barrier function. And fourth, they help educate the developing immune system. HMO create a first layer of protection by helping the establishment of a protective gut microbiota. They do this by selectively promoting the growth and metabolic activity of certain beneficial bacteria like bifidobacteria and bacteroids, thus helping them to outgrow potentially harmful bacteria. This very specific action of HMO on the gut microbiota should not be confused with the rather unspecific prebiotic effect of other oligosaccharides, such as fructo-oligosaccharides, FOS, and galacto-oligosaccharides, GOS, already found in some infant formulas today. These oligosaccharides have different structures than HMO, which impacts their biological activity. HMO offer a second layer of protection, which can be seen as an antimicrobial decoy system targeting pathogenic microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, as well as their toxins. It is as clever as it is simple. These pathogens can only harm the human body after they, or their toxins, have managed to attach to the gut mucosal surface mainly via oligosaccharide dock on sites at the gut surface. HMO floating around within the gut lumen trick pathogens by binding them so that their dock on mechanism is blocked. Hence, instead of attaching to the infant's gut mucosal surface, entering the body and causing harm, they are excreted with the feces. The third layer of protection involves reinforcement of the intestinal barrier function, with HMO directly modifying cell surface structures and sensing mechanisms, rendering them more resistant towards pathogens. The fourth layer of protection is about educating the defense system. A very small fraction of HMO is absorbed through the gut wall into the bloodstream, and reaches the systemic circulation where it may help an immature and often overreactive immune system to respond more appropriately to immunological challenges from unknown foreign substances or bodies such as allergens or microorganisms and their components like endotoxins. To summarize, HMO are abundant yet non-nutritive components of human milk that have unique functions in helping support the infant's developing immune system and protect the infant in four major ways, which cannot be matched by other oligosaccharides currently found in some infant formulas such as FOS, GOS. 1. Establishing a protective gut microbiota. 2. Blocking pathogens. 3. Strengthening the gut barrier. 4. Helping to educate the developing immune system.